Hi, this is Dr. Connie. So I've been talking a lot about leaky gut lately, and I want to go a little bit deeper so that you can understand why. Your gut is the second brain center of your body. It plays a role in so many functions in the body. So here's a little bit of a background on the gut, your gut. So it produces three-fourths of your neurotransmitters, and it contains two-thirds of your immune tissue, and it contains 10 times more cells than the rest of your body combined, and has a metabolic activity greater than your liver. So it's important to note that the gut is a dynamic physiologic organ system. Its primary function in the body are digestion and absorption of nutrients, it supports our immune system, and acts as a barrier to differentiate from friend from foe, organizes, initiates, and coordinates any metabolism of nutrients and the process of detoxification and assimilation of nutrients. So let's review the anatomy and physiology of the small intestine. So here's a little trivia for you. The gut is typically 20 to 22 feet long. Its surface area is about the size of a tennis court, and it contains thousands of villi, which are covered by millions of microvilli. So why is the gut so important? Well, 70% of Americans have gut symptoms or diseases, and it's the most sensitive organ in the body, and it's the most prone to imbalances leading to symptoms. And if you normalize and tame the gut, many of the diseases and symptoms will be cured, including lupus and other autoimmune conditions. So how do you obtain a healthy gut? Well, proper nutrients, healthy bio or um, microflora, and maintain immune balance for repair and regeneration, proper chewing, and adequate digestive juices, enzymes, and pH via proper food combining and eating. And also maintain a healthy gut barrier by eating some prebiotics and probiotics. So a sick gut, which I refer to as leaky gut, can result from poor diet, dehydration, medications, infections, toxins, like molds, heavy metals, additives, pesticides, hormones, antibiotics, and meats. These are things that we get on a daily basis. Inadequate digestive enzymes and altered pH and also impaired gut permeability. So let's get to know the functions of your immune system and its relationship to the gut. So with a sick gut, which I refer to again as leaky gut, Many toxins, additives, and artificial particles enter the bloodstream because a barrier function of the gut is impaired due to chronic poor diet and increased stress. And as a result, your body triggers inflammation. And inflammation is your body's response to infection, tissue damage, or even toxins. Your innate immune system is activated in an effort to kill the enemy that entered through your gut and your body tries to get rid of it as it's, it is naturally inclined to protect you to keep you safe. It's like when you cut yourself, the area around the cut gets red and swollen and all the white blood cells rush to the site of injury. And there's an activation of the immune system and once the infection is under control, the body resumes its normal functions. This is known as innate immunity. But the problem is that with leaky gut, toxins are constantly entering and flooding our bodies, resulting in an acquired immune response. This means that the inflammation remains, and sometimes, if that's perpetuated, we end up with autoimmune conditions. So what do you do? Well, you have to heal your leaky gut. So one is to defend your gut from toxins by using quality probiotics. So probiotics are defined as live microorganisms that are helpful in maintaining the ecological balance in our gut. And this kind of microflora in the gut can protect and support 
support the immune system. We basically have friendly bacteria on the surface of our gut lining and the bacteria helps us to keep good balance for a healthy gut environment. And by young adulthood, humans have over 100 trillion bacteria in the distal gut. And the gut flora is responsible for all the following functions. One is fermentation, two is vitamin synthesis, three is energy production, four is immune control, five is protection from the infective agents. So the interplay between the gut flora and the immune system is vast and so intricate. Remember, what we eat influences the population and the metabolic activity of our microflora. So if we eat bad foods, our environment in the gut will be compromised, leading to a leaky gut that can open doors to many different diseases and symptoms. And let's now jump to the concept of permeability. Our gut lining serves as a defense to ensure that we only allow our friends into our body, not the enemy. Imagine your gut having holes to let the toxins pass through and be assimilated into your body. Just like when you have a cut, your body in its effort to protect itself starts to unleash its immune system army to fight the toxins, right? Well, medical research clearly shows that this increased permeability is an early sign of autoimmune condition. Thinking back to the times of my lupus diagnoses, I can recall mysterious symptoms due to my poor diet as a graduate student. I thought I was eating healthy, but I was eating processed vegan foods thinking that that was healthy, which were not delivering enough nutrients. Plus, I was under a lot of stress. So it's no wonder that autoimmune diseases are the third leading cause of morbidity and mortality in the industrialized world surpassed only by cancer and heart disease. So the following are examples of autoimmune related diseases. So they are type 1 diabetes, celiac disease, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, systemic lupus, and multiple sclerosis. So what's the solution? Well, first, you've got to remove. Begin your initial journey with an elimination diet to minimize toxic exposure through food and decrease inflammation to allow your gut to rest and heal. And two is to replenish. Use supplements to fill the gap of nutrient deficiencies and to accelerate healing. Three is to restore. Reintroduce the foods to understand which foods you're reacting to, and then you can readjust and repeat. I've included an alkaline elimination diet guide below for you to follow. Your health is your own to keep and protect. We've created a step-by-step -step online five-week elimination diet plan to help you to stay focused and on track, and the link is below. I hope this helps. Please join our movement and sign up for our newsletter at alkalinewellness.com, lupusrebel.com, and follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Talk soon.